Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Rumpel Foreskin. He is in his, um, t the Tier 10 German Panzer. I love this gun, by the way. The action that it takes on the top to, uh, to always be steady, basically. I love it. Um, it's a Tier 10 game on Lakeville. I'm going to kind of speed through the, the, the opening, um, after we do one thing, um, the, the rest of it is going to be long and not particularly interesting, <laughs> so we're, oh look, even 90. Uh, so after we deal with him, nice shot by the way, I, so he tracks him with the shot immediately before somebody else hits the target, um, so their shot was already in the air when he, we tracked him, and then manages to get the kill, good job. Now I'm going to start fast forwarding. Um, there's a few things that happen, but none of them are particularly interesting <laughs> until we get to the like the second half of this game. Um, and so I guess I could cut here and start back up there. And I I don't know if I want to do that because I do want to let you guys see uh, kind of how th this played out. Um, the fact is that LT-100 is going to be our nemesis, and he, he is definitely spawning us, and yet we're not able to land a shot on him just yet. Um, do note, we are running large repair kit, large um, health kit and chocolate, so there's that. Um, and the shots in are raining in all around, either that tortoise keeps getting lit, um, which is possible. Oh, he's got three marks on him. That's interesting. There, we finally do something, but it's just track damage, and we miss the shot on the AMX 5120. Uh, the tortoise is still in a bad spot, and still we haven't actually done anything till the LT-100. Um, and now the LTTB arrives on scene. As the tortoise dies, we do get the hit on the LTTB, and then he vanishes into the darkness. At this point, point in time, we have killed the enemy IS, and we more or less own the city. Um, LTB is running away, does get a, um, a crit on it, and we do get the one hit on the, uh, the 5120 before he dies. I'm going to restart the game at a normal pace now. It's about halfway through, more or less, and now we're going to get into the parts where... We can actually start doing something real. At this point in time, we matter. Um, very much, actually. Being here on this middle road, and the fact that we're up on top of this platform means the enemy cannot come this way. That means our allies do not have to worry about anything on this road, because other than being it being on the very extent of this road, nothing else is, is here. And so it's just, you know, it's one thing that less they have to worry about. Now, if the 263 could back all the way out, we could get shots on him. That'd be really nice. I don't know if he's going to do that. Um, at the same time, though, we, we are in an actual really great spot to flex back and deal with these guys if our team needs us to. Oh, that's where the LT is. That has been our, um, our nemesis through this entire game. Now we're going to flex back and go and deal with him because otherwise he will clean up our team. Uh, the LT-100 is one of the best light tanks in the game. Uh, it's tiny, it's small, it's a low profile, and it's darn hard to hit with a decent gun. And it's fast. Well, it's a lot easier to hit when you're right behind it. <laughs> Sneaking up on it than anything else. Now, the Super Conqueror is going to be an issue as we cannot just charge through him. But at the same time... Super Conqueror is going to be less of an issue because, of course, now that he doesn't know where we are, it's guaranteed we, he doesn't know where we are, we can flex back and slide around this side of the island and go after him. Or just go back, although I, I expect us to go back um, and try and come around this side of him, but it looks like he's going to go after the Ag Tiger, which we didn't know was there until just a couple seconds ago. He's just going to go past the Ag Tiger. And let the Ag Tire and the Object 277 fight it out a little bit. Coming back now in time to deal with the Ag Tire. 
Um, now that the egg turd, like he thought he was going to be okay. He thought he was just going to have to deal with one target uh, because of the fact that Rumpel didn't slow down and just kept going straight past him. And so he didn't try and turn and follow us or anything like that. Um, and that was obviously his mistake. Um, there is a Super Conqueror back over there, though. He's on less than 200 health. Or less than 300 health, sorry. So um, it's possible we can kill him, but it's going to be hard. Uh, we have enough health, though, that we can definitely take a hit from him or two and be perfectly fine. Oh, and he's back, got back up. But I don't think Rumpel cares. He's just going to take the hit. Continue on pass, auto lock on, and kill him. And now the dude is, is in a horrible situation. Not only does he have a tier 10 heavy tank in front of him, who he can do very little damage to, <laughs> he has a tier 10 light tank behind him, who he definitely is never going to hit. Um, and so now, instead of progressing the way that we know the enemy knows about it, we're going to come this way. Um... There is still the object 263 that is somewhere. I last it was spotted was here. It's quite easy for it to make its way over here and start shooting from over here. And that would be bad, but it's not the end of the world. Um, this tank is fast enough that it can get from one side of the map to the other before a cap can be gone all the way through. Um, but it looks like where he's going to leave the object guarding the base. And we're going to scout down. So we're just looking for two artillery with 800 health. It's possible the artillery can kill him, but it's unlikely. Um, as long as we don't get hit by two shells um, or a direct hit by one, then we should be okay. Um, the 263 has showed up, and he is definitely going to be challenging our ally back there. Uh, Ally's going to be in a little bit of trouble if he can't get a hill between him and the 263. Because the 263 can... Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Might happen. But at the same time, we're really committed to this. Oh. Our tour are not in their normal spots. That means they've probably progressed down here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Pretty sure we're out of spying range. From that... Uh, that guy. But also pretty sure he... Well, I mean, obviously he knows where the shot came from. He may not be able to return fire, but he definitely knows where the shot came from. And so now it looks like we're going to attempt to find the second artillery before going after the cap. Um, so the second artillery we were hoping was around here. Now the worst case scenario, the second artillery is actually just about to jump on the cap right now. And that would be... Um, just like the end of the world. If, if that happens right now, we lose the game. It's almost guaranteed. At the same time, we can't find him, so like, where is he? Um, it's possible he was on the road and he, he was in such a spot that we just couldn't see him. It's possible that he was in amongst these buildings. Or it's possible that he's right there overwatching the cap and trying to help his ally out. Oh, one shot. HE takes him out of the game. Now he knows where he was shot from. If he's smart, he's already pinging the cap. Uh, we have gold loaded. 263 knows approximately where we're coming from. The first shell bounces. The first shell doesn't even do any damage, it just bounces. And loading some HE, firing into the same spot, and a full cap reset. 93 points gone. And now we have some time. Four minutes left in the game. There is some time to play. Now, I don't know how much that HE shot did. Neither do you. But um, that one seems to have set him on fire momentarily. And so he burned for a tick. Now, that means it puts him in range of a killing shot. If we can put this next shot into him. However, if we flip over on this rock, that's obviously going to be a problem. Dodging the return fire. He just looks like he wants to get out of there. And I don't blame him. Uh, if he can make it into these buildings, we stand a fighting chance. And he has, in fact, made it into the buildings. Ooh, ram ramming into a white tank, but at the point where it doesn't matter anymore. Brilliant job. 
So the 263 started backing up and it gave us his side, but just for a second. And so Rubble didn't pause. He didn't think about it. He just did it. And he, and he pulled back out far enough that they could see the side of that tank and watch the show. And he had to hit above the tracks, which he obviously did. And because of the fact that the, the, you know, the pen on this thing and the fact that this is 105mm gun means he overmatched the side of that armor and just went straight through. And uh, that was the end of that. Well done. One, one more of those shells that have been fired by the 263, if they had connected, this game would have been over. Um, if that... If the, uh, the shell we fired, the HE, first HE shell, or sorry, second HE shell, hadn't set him on fire, then it's a possibility that our shell just now would not have actually killed him. 320 average damage. We did. That's not right. That's not what we did just now. Oh, that's what we got hit by. We did, um, actually, I guess, hmm. It, it'd be close, right? So, it'd be closer to the point where it's possible we could have overrolled and not killed him. Um, but, yeah, overall, well done. Um, great job. And I always enjoy games from Rumble. Every single one of them is a good game. Uh, by the way, I love this skin. It's a great skin. <laughs> so, congrats all around. Um, yeah, we're going to jump over and see what his battle results were. Uh, this was not quite an ace tanker, but that's okay. Bruiser, duelist, fighter, fire for effect. Eight bombs, mm, yeah, and plus Gucci's. He also gets the defender. And, like, this is one of the better defenders. Um, I mean, how many times do you see somebody with over 90 <laughs> defense points? That, that was well done. Um... I just want to see on the 263. We did a total of 544 damage to him. Um, I know. A um, little, little bit of some math here for a second. That last shot did 260 ish. So. 540. Minus 266. Minus 170 and 64 for the fire. Means <laughs> that first shot, that first HE shot that, that took away all his cap points that we didn't see did like 40 damage to him. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, overall, well played game. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for saying in. Not quite top on experience. Uh, our ally who sacrificed himself at the end got top on experience, but of course he deserved it with an extra 2,000 damage. Yeah, I should hope he got top on experience. Uh, overall, though, this was a great game, and I can't wait to see your next one. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This is IOE Throughout.